channel she glow we come here and glow baby that is on what that is on who that is on motherfucking period bitch and we motherfucking bad i took over a year off and cut you bitches some slack tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> she's back so for the new people that are gonna come here and know what the hell is going on here girl let me tell you i'm a country woman from the south with a potty mouth bookie it gets real raw over here real quickly and i talk about a lot of things a lot of taboo shit a lot of sexual shit and a lot of queer shit because i am a lesbian i love the girls that love the girls but it's some shit that i want to address that's been going on through this channel and you know sometimes we got to get a little at right around here and that's all right i'm gonna do that okay so like i said we're gonna address some shit on here I want to regulate this motherfucker first before I tell y'all what to expect over here. All right. Okay. Um, okay. Someone says, sexy as fuck. Love your storytelling. I want to say, uh, number one, thank you for the compliment. But sometimes I need y'all to learn to read the fucking room because that's weird as fuck. Okay. That was a grooming video. That was me talking about being groomed and fucking exploited. And you thought to tell me that I was sexy? Don't be fucking weird. And listen, I know it get freaky around here, but you don't got to be a weird motherfucker. Why do y'all have to be cringy? Like sex comes up and y'all lose yourselves. Like you've never, ever heard of it before. Or you've never had it before or something. Like sex is not fucking new. Another comment said... How did she know how to do that at 17, you ask? Huh. You know she been doing shit like that a few years already. And that was under a video where I was talking about my friend um, that gave a blowjob. And to answer your question, we all were doing a bunch of shit because we weren't being fucking protected. A lot of shit happened to us, including her. So you right. She was doing those things. Another comment said, free R. Kelly. Was it really his fault? Uh, yeah, it was because he's an adult and they were minors. They were underage. You know, when you're an adult and you decide to mess with minors, which is rape because minors cannot consent, that's called statutory rape and it would make you a predator. So he is absolutely wrong. And why do y'all want to defend for a man that you know is a predator? It's for a few reasons. Either you're okay with predators or you're one yourself. Or you, you excuse and enable predators around you. Either way, it's fucking weird. Another comment says, damn baby, I like how you did your thing and saying it's your friend. Uh, let's be good friends. Who the fuck are you niggas to lie to? If I come on here and I tell you about a story time that's sexual, some shit that happened, to my memory, that's what happened. But for you to say, I like how you did your thing and saying it's her. If I would have been the one doing it, why wouldn't I say that I did it? Who the fuck are you niggas to lie to? If I would have did it, I would have said I did it. Because on this motherfucker, I say everything else. It wouldn't have been a need to lie. There's no need to lie. When the truth will always set you fucking free. Ain't no need to lie, bitch. Then let's be good friends. Is that how y'all flirt with people? Is that how y'all talk to people? Another comment, which I feel like is connected to the previous one, who said, you sucked it with her, stop the cap. If I would have sucked it with her, I would have just said I sucked it with her. A lot of you carry shame and intimacy. You do. Because you think that people have to lie about the things that they intimately do because you do. Because you're shame. I don't have to. I get on here and tell y'all every goddamn thing else. I was young. I did a lot of shit. If me and her would have did that together, I would have said that. Another comment said, here she go trying to play victim card when they invited these grown ass men into their rooms and initiated truth or dare. 
So because I told the story about what happened, I'm playing victim and I'm talking about the incident that took place. How is that me playing victim? Because it's the truth. It's not about playing victim. You know what is weird? That you think that people who are underage, kids and teens, should be more responsible than fucking adults. Because yes, we were young and inviting them to come in and that should have never happened. But as the adults, they should have regulated and said absolutely not and not came. You know, that's what happens when you're an adult. You have to put your foot down. But a lot of y'all don't know nothing about that. Because if any moment that you have a space to do something with somebody that's young, that you know doesn't understand, you're going to jump to it because you're a fucking predator and you're a weirdo. And it's people like you that we should definitely be on the lookout for. Anybody that would say something like this is a red flag walking. The, the anger in the, in the comment, you're upset and saying that I'm playing the victim. What are you so upset about? A hit dog will always holler. I tell you what, I wrote something and I'm going to read it because it's going to be like a whole little thing. And I want y'all to take this in. I have experienced assault, abuse, and neglect consistently as a child in many forms constantly being objectified and sexualized even when I did not understand what that was and who I was as a young woman and as a child it sent me into being hypersexual I'm still processing and uncovering a lot of things that happened to me through the fucked up shit that did happen, I did a lot of wild things that I talk about on here. This channel came about when I started therapy to talk about everything that had happened to me. I love telling my story times and I want to continue to do so. I am a grown ass woman that talks about sex because we all fuck. And I believe that we should have healthy spaces to talk about it, especially lesbian women. We deserve that. And I want to be the one to offer that space. I will not tolerate being disrespected or degraded. Sometimes I delete the comments. Sometimes I don't reply to them. And sometimes I have the fucking time to respond. May the odds be in your favor. Now, if you come to my page, you're going to know that a lot of my sexual story times are down on here for you guys to see. Um, I actually put them on this site and I turned them from video to audio that you guys can go and pay and listen if you want to. I am still going to be telling story times on here. Y'all know I love that. That's my thing. But when it comes to those very nitty gritty nasty story times you're gonna have to pay for that you're gonna have to pay for that if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby i've been around the world but I ain't seen myself another girl. Yeah.